Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm looking crazy. I know I'm looking crazy. My name is Dion. This is Chapstick Candy Cane Scented and Flavored. We are going to be doing two looks in this video. And I do have on, you know, brows, which they're on different planets today. Um, we're going to be using both of the Pat McGrath New Quints. And we're going to use Lunar Nightshade. In this first look, and I do think we're going to put them all on. I didn't write out what look, I mean, what shadows we're going to go wear. And this is Bordeaux Bliss. This will be the second look. So these will be the two palettes that we are using today. The two quints that we're going to be using in this video. I mean, I just woke up not too long ago, so I'm still kind of like, I don't know what's happening. Fenty Primer, Fenty Foundation. I do think I'm going to end up putting on concealer later because my under eyes are looking really disrespectful. So we're going to put on the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer as usual why do i call this channel the crazy troll nation the crazy just enjoying doing videos and enjoying the vi videos that you watch the channels that you tune into and knowing it's okay to be your authentic self the troll part is not caring too much about the beauty community standards you set the standard for yourself try not to feel like you need to use a certain brand or a certain tool or a certain technique use whatever you want to however you want to to get your makeup on in a way that you are satisfied with it. The bottom line here at the Crazy Troll Nation, it is a crazy concept. If you haven't heard it before, sit tight. Self-acceptance and self-love. Embracing your natural features. Enhancing them if you want to, when you want to. But never feeling like you have to. Love yourself for who you are and for how you look. Even without face paint on. That is the concept of the Crazy Troll Nation. Um, if you're new here, I need to let you know I do curse on my channel sometimes because I curse sometimes, period. So, thank you for being here. Hello and welcome. We're going to get started. I have out brushes. I hope I have out enough. Like I, I don't know. And I'm pulling out another one. We're just going to go down the line, not in order. But we're going to... <laughs> I'm thinking this for tear duct. So, this might be too big for that. And then this one and this one and maybe this one for outer corner. Maybe this lower lash line just to be a little funky. Oh, speaking of lower lash line, let me go ahead and put on... This is MAC Color Excess Gel Pencil Eyeliner and the shade is Stage 5 Clinger. So we're going to put this on our lower lash line. I am going to edit out one eye since we're doing two different quint looks in this video. I do still prefer doing the entire process, but for the sake of just not having a whole bunch of videos that's 40 minutes long for one look, um, that's why I'm combining some of the looks that we're doing in the video. So I don't know. Let me know. Well, you know what? It'll be done by the time you answer me because this is not a live. And I should probably just ask this in um, a community post. And so that may be what I'm going to do. Doing that, what I just did in a round, is my eye is tearing just a tiny bit. So I'm putting a lipstick applicator right here in my tear duct area to hopefully catch and absorb whatever is going to leak. So eyes are primed. We're going to jump in. So we're going to take this first shade right here. And we're going to put that in our tear duct area. And we're just going to pop it. Pop. Oh! This part. This is my first time using this quint. So I oh wow. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> I have out a sensible eyeliner for our upper at upper lash line. Now we're going to take this shade here in the other corner, the opposite end of the palette. Make sure I don't mix up my brushes since I need to use them again for the other eye. <gasps> Excuse me. And then we're going to just put this. Wow. I have some things I've been thinking about makeup wise and it is so hard not to just like talk about it because it won't make sense if it's done before you see this video. And I'm considering, um, that's pretty, I'm considering doing another live or just do a member post and ask what they think because I kind of need help. I'm just kind of struggling with makeup, not with wearing makeup or enjoying it, but just like, what am I going to do? This is the brush that the first shade on it. We're just going to pull this over. I think this would look really nice 
over black base. Oh, I think so. That blends nicely together. It looks like one shade. That's really cute. Now we're going to, do we want to take more of this a little bit further over? Yes, we do. This is still that um, shade on the other end, this shade here. We're just going to pull that further over. Because this is creamy, I'm thinking I could have used the Hourglass 3 brush because it's wider. I could have done this a lot quicker, um, but I, I don't know why I chose this brush. Maybe because I was just thinking it's a creamy shade and it wasn't going all over the lid. Maybe that's what I was thinking. So we're going to take another one. So we have like at least, oh, let me see. I think I might have eight of these because I'm seeing three more over there, four more over there. Oh, maybe five. <laughs> so this is a clean one. And now we're going to take this shade right here. This one I could have put on low. Oh, this looks rich. I did swatch these. Um, I did it in a live. And so we are going to just run that right here. This is pretty. This is pretty. This is a very rich. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember now. And I just did the live like a couple of days ago. And I'm already like, oh, wow. Like, I don't know what it looked like. Um, yeah, I was having trouble figuring out what shade it was. And so thank you those who were there that was telling me what shade it was. Because to me, it almost looked like a black with sparkle. But it is a blue. And then the promo pics, I didn't know if it was blue or purple, black, whatever. <laughs> but it's, it's a very pretty shade. We're going to blend this up here. These shades, I am able to go back and forth over the Fenty primer because it is so smooth. That is pretty and I don't need to even like overlap the blend much because it just blends in this is a pretty quint this is the one that I wanted when I first seen him when I saw the reveals that is pretty oh wow now we're going to go into this shade and this is going to go on the outer corner and I'm using this brush I don't know if it's going to be a mistake I've been trying to use this brush more lately because it, it's been neglected for a very long time um I don't know. <laughs> this doesn't seem to go. But we're going to drag this over. We're being funky because y'all know that's what we do sometimes. And we're just going to drag it over and see what it does. I think I'm going to take some more of that blue because this is not wanting to even blend really. Like you, it, it's not. I like the look, the colors. And I like what this is doing up here, just faintly dragging it over. So I am liking this so much so. And I'm not adding more in the brush. It's whatever's in the brush. We're just tapping and trying to drag it. I really like that look. Just this right here is like, no. It's like, mm -mm, we're not going to go. So I do think this was a good brush choice for this. But I need to do something else. So what we're going to do... This is not the right brush for this, but it's the first one I grabbed. We're going to take that same shade, this one. And I'm going to just see, going back and forth, if it'll blend. And it's looking like it's not. So I'm going to go back with that dark blue sparkle shade. This is not. And I'm going back and forth over where the two meet. And I'm feathering over where the two meet. And it's like, no. No, we're not going to do what you want me to do. So we're taking the brush that had this shade on it. And we're just going to come past the line and just press and squeak. We did not add more shadow. Ooh, okay, we got it. We did not add more shadow on the brush. It was just whatever was in the brush. I like that. We're going back to, hmm, we're going to take this one because I want to just lightly, very lightly, just sweep right here just to bring this up a little bit because I like the effect that this is given. Wow. I like it. My eye feels like it's starting to tear again. Now we're going to take this brush and we're going to go into the center shade. And that's going to be our brow bone. No, we were going to put that underneath, weren't we? I think I'm going to leave that like that. This eye is starting to tear. I can feel it. It's, oh, man. I was doing so well. What I should have did is I should have did this um, inner rim as well. So that way, whatever tearing was going to happen would, would be done before I get over there to it. So, ooh. Yeah, I dropped it, but it fell in my lap, and I didn't want to, like, grab it and stick my fingers in it. We're taking this brush, which is a thick brush, and we're going to go into this center shade because I want to blow this out on the lower lash line. This um, is kind of flaky. 
So I don't know how this is going to work. Because then when I tap off, it just taps off. Hmm. Okay, I'm still just trying to... I'm pressing it in and wiggling, trying to get it in the brush. But it's not coating the brush evenly. I might need to use a different brush. So we're just pressing into our lower, lower lash line. That little bit of shadow that was on the brush got the nerve to fall out. Let me take the plastic off of the mirror so I can use the mirror that's in here. And this has the nerve to be flaking, to be falling out. I should have used um, that Makeup Forever little dense brush. That, that was not the right brush. Where is that Makeup Forever brush? This is the brush that I should have used. We're not adding any shadow. We're just pressing what's already there. And I do want to do something with the lower lash line. I didn't pull that brush out. I just had it. This one has no shadow on it. We are just going to just do this just to blend in or take off some of the flakes, some of the fallout. Just to make it not look so I don't like that. What I'm gonna do, we're gonna take uh we're gonna take this brush, first one I grabbed, and we're going to go into this shade right here, this matte shade, the only matte in this palette. And we're gonna put that under here because I'm not liking how that looked. And so I should have just done that for that middle shade for brow bone. This I like. Okay. Not a total disaster. Actually, we want to take it all the way across. And I remember a while ago, I was doing a darker shade close to lash line and a shimmer below it, blowing it out. And I do like that look. And so, let me not mix up the brushes. So we're going to take this brush again, and we're just going to just do this again. So I do like how that looks. Now we're going to pull out a mascara before I forget. We just grabbed the 228 from Dior. It is a Dior show. We're going to take... This eye is starting to tear. Um, a slate from Milk Cosmetics and a brush that we will not name. And we're going to put this on our upper lash line. Very sensible because we're dealing with the blues and whatever other colors. So you're very sensible today. We're not going to destroy Pat today. Sometimes when I use Pat, it's like, how can you mess up a look with Pat? Uh, it's called trolling it out in the worst way possible. Not the best way, but the worst way. And sometimes I do that. But today I felt sensible. And we're going to do just a small, a very small wing. And that's the look. That is the look. Put that brush away. I am going to do concealer. Um, I'm going to put on mascara. I'm going to do the other eye, the same thing as this. I'm going to put on concealer, which means I'm going to have to set the face. Um, I think I'm going to use the Fashion Fair powder. And then I'm going to use the Natasha Diamond and Blush set. And I'm using it because I'm, I'm, I am ready to let it go. So I'm just getting more use out of it before I let it go. Um, the formula has changed a bit. And the PAO is approaching. So I'm just using it. I'm really ready to let it go. And so we will be right back. This is our finished look. We did put on concealer even though it doesn't look like it. We did set the face with the Fashion Fair Set It Loose Truly, Truly Tawny Powder. Excuse me. We went in with the diamond blush, diamond and blush thing from Natasha Denona. We used everything in here. Cream highlight, cream blush, highlight, highlight, powder blush. And citrus which I usually just put here so that's what all of that is and then we went in with desert glow from Pat McGrath we used this as a bronzer and also the perimeter of our face and on the tip of my nose then we went in with radiant light from hourglass under eye and to set the rest of the face and then there's a lot of and thens isn't it the Fenty spray this one is what it do make a refreshing spray so it's not a setting spray it's a refreshing spray we put that on for lip gloss we kept this simple I pulled bronze Venus and then I thought 
oh i have flash dance so we put that on top and all of that is on top of chapstick so that is this finished look that we used our for our first look with lunar nightshade and that is this quint and i am really digging let me get the thing right i am really digging how the look turned out yep i took a picture so thank you and hang tight you'll see me in a moment for a look oh gosh what am i saying with bordeaux bliss which is this one so thank you and you will see me in a moment hey y'all uh today is november 20th we're going to start with cotton candy chapstick we have one the milk hydro grip face primer and we have one the estee lauder foundation double wear stay in place makeup four in two brows fenty of course lower lash line we put nyx retractable eyeliner in deep purple um and also on our inner and upper rims and it did not show up much and so then we took the sephora which 12 hour 12 hour excuse me retractable eyeliner and this shade is 04 matte terracotta we put this on our inner rims upper and lower then we took from bordeaux bliss yes we got a head start the center shade we took with a thick brush and put on a lower lash line and then we took this shade with a thin brush to get closer actually to the lower lash line so that part is done this side is already tearing i've been sitting here watching Locke's video waiting for it to stop so we're going to go ahead and jump in i have all two eyeliners to use i was just going to use macro violet which is matte fluid line but because we're putting a darker shade on the outer half of the lid this is not going to show up and so we're going to put the macro violet on the first half of our upper lash line once the shadows are there then we're going to take mac paint pot and black mirror to put on the outer half of our upper lash line we have brushes pulled out so let's prime the eye and get started and we'll be right back the original look i had planned out for this it was going to be extremely monochromatic it was going to be this and then this and then this and then you know outer corner or something and then i said no so we're going to put this on tear duct that's just going to go right there this could also we may come back and put this for a brow bone i'm not sure so that's just going to go right there and then we're going to take this shade here so we're going to try and do a smoky look this shade on the other outer the other corner of the palette and we're going to put that here and i think i could use this is showing up darker. No, actually, that is how it looks. Okay. I was going to say it's showing up darker on my lid than in the pan. I'm thinking I could have used the Hourglass number no. three brushes. It's the same. Well, it's more white than this one, but since we took this all the way over, that is pretty. And we're going to just overlap that tear duct shade. I don't even know why I put that tear duct shade there. If I'm going to cover it up, right? Right. I feel right now that I'm going to want something to cover this gap up here, but there's nothing in there. This is the only matte in here, and that is not a brow bone shade for me. So that is that shade, and now we're going to take, I should have did the other eye first because this one is still tearing. We may or may not add concealer later. Oh, don't fall or fill in my lap. Now I'm going to take this shade here, and that's going to go on the outer portion of the lid this shade is rich and it is tapping off like crazy my station is looking messy hopefully oh it's tapping off the brush in chunks so let me just press it i don't want to have a lot of fallout since we already put our foundation on this was a good choice of brush for this it being a more narrow brush than the hourglass because of how this fell out and flaked off the brush if I would have used a wider brush, I think it would have gotten away from me. And so we're going to overlap this first shade that we put on the lid. I like that blend. We're going to... Oh, this is nice how it's dragging over at the top edge. But this right here is not looking right. I may have to take some... You know what? I might take my... um my face setting spray and tap up there not and y'all probably know i'm in setting powder it's kind of scary that y'all are in my head but um i do like how this is but i want this to be tapered over yeah, i'm not liking this part right here oh i like it now 
they blended really well together, those two shades. We're going to go back with the brush that had that first shade on it. Well, the center lid shade. And we are just going to overlap and drag just to get more of a blend right here. And actually, I do kind of like that. But I think I still want to take something just to put in that little bit of space. Or, you know what, just leave it. If we can get the other side the same, that would be perfect. And this is tearing horribly all of a sudden. It wasn't tearing this bad earlier. But now and all of a sudden, it is. So, <laughs> y'all, this eye is almost done. So we're going to go back, not adding any more shadow on um, this tear duct shade. And we're going to put that there. I think it might be too bright as a brow bone. Let's just do it and see, because then that way we will know for sure. And we only have this little bit of space right here. Oh, this brush is wet from where I put it under here. Oh, boy. So we just have this little tiny space. Hopefully it doesn't make a stark line. And it did shoot. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our setting powder later and we're just going to I don't want to do that excuse me for smacking my lips we're going to take this brush with nothing on it and we're going to feather outward because I have a feeling I'm going to forget to um, use my setting powder I have never used setting powder in an eye look before and that's why I think I'll forget because it's not something I've ever done like at all and I know people use bronzer for like their crease shade and things like that. I just never have for no particular reason. I do like that better. It's still stark, but not the worst thing in the world. So we're going to put that brush away. So we're going to go ahead with the eyeliners. We're going to take Macro Violet. I have out all four <laughs> of my MAC 210 brushes. And Macro Violet, which is a purple fluid line, which is designed to be an eyeliner. But you can use them for shadow bases too. The paint pots are designed to be shadow bases, but you can also use them for eyeliners. And I do use both for both. This isn't showing up much either. I thought it would um, show up over that these two lid shades, but it's not. Wow. Okay. So for the next eye, maybe we'll just take Black Mirror all the way across. And actually, we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're taking a clean one, and we're just swirling it. And we're going to take, we're going to start inside. I don't know, like, why all of a sudden this eye started tearing more. Because I was okay with the minor tearing before, and that's when I said to myself, I'll just go ahead and start the look. Because I was sitting here watching like video waiting for it to stop tearing as much as it was. But then all of a sudden, it started again. And so just going to do a small wing because the outer corner is already dark. So that is that eye. So now we're going to take mascara. We're just going to take, it's not going to show up. Um, first is Violet from MAC, one of the MAC stack mascaras. I wish they had this in a mini. If they did, I would get um, Squirt, the green one. Because that's the, that's the one that shows up the most. And that's just because of the color of it. Because it's a lime green. Um, I keep hearing that NYX has color, different color mascaras. I haven't tried them yet. And I keep trying to remember if I had a reaction to NYX mascaras before. Or not, but I could just buy one and try it. I think I just hit my nose um, with the wand. So we're going to edit out doing the other eye, and we'll be right back. Who knew that we would get grunge <laughs> out of Bordo Bliss? Who knew? Look at this. I am pleased. I did not think it was going to do this. I did want it to be dark on the outer corners. But I didn't think it was going to be like this. I did not put on concealer. I know I should have. We lined the lips. Let me back up to what we did. We did set the face with Fashion Fair Set It Loose Powder Truly Tawny. We went into Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush 
zero two citrus we used everything in here again and then we went into desert glow pat mcgrath bronzer as a bronzer and on the perimeter of our face then we took hourglass radiant light for under eye and to finish the face and we lined the lips with oh dropped it thick thighs caught it suede nyx suede matte lip liner which is not on the um also website anymore it says nyx suede vegan lip liner or something and it says like 36 shades or something but when i click on it is only one shade so i'm like what because it was a sale i was going to buy some more but anyway this is ellie and it is the black one and we use sephora collection number 28 nightbird i would not have thought that <laughs> i was going to get this out of this um, I am excited about this look. I am enjoying it. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you would take this quint, this dark, like this smoky. Like, would you do this? Or would you keep it light and ethereal and just have this just a little bit maybe for an outer V? So that's the question for this portion of the video because I don't think I've seen this type of look and the black lip makes it kind of vampy because you got the red and all that i can keep going on and on and i think i'm okay with not having concealer on and i think the black lip maybe just distracts from that but anyway that'll be it for this video let me know what you think about um the looks we did with the first look with lunar nightshade with this one and what you think of this look with Bordeaux Bliss. I am digging it. I'm glad I got it because Bordeaux Bliss was not on my radar. Like it really wasn't. But um, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I am just super excited because I didn't think this was going to turn out this way. And so, yeah, thank you for being here. There's a lot of links below as always and as usual. And as always, self-acceptance, self-love. That is the crazy troll nation way. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and you will see me soon.